Hi everyone, Wendy with an eye here, and I have finished Lion King, and I'm going to share framing him and hanging him and what kind of glue I use. So if you're interested, please keep hanging around. Here's Lion King in a beautiful go frame. I think it turned out wonderful. Lion King is being propped up for you today by my puzzle collection. <laughs> okay, Lion King is 18 inches by 14 inches and isn't as big as the 750 piece ones. So I was unable to find it, just a regular poster frame for this puzzle because of its size, uh, but I was able to find one uh, by Art to Frames, not plugging them, not sponsored, on Amazon um, that was 18 inches by 14 inches. They're made in the USA and it just came in and it's beautiful and it was packaged so well the frame was in the shipping it was just lovely so here it is it is beautiful and I felt like Lion King needed a gold frame and it absolutely did I think it turned out well so what I also want to share with you today is if you were curious the puzzle glue I use is Mega Puzzles Save a Puzzle nothing spectacular nothing expensive that is what I use to glue my puzzles with, and I have the little uh, scraper that spreads it around. So that's what I glue them with, let it dry overnight, and then when I get my frame, I pop it in there. So I'm going to hang it on the wall, and then we'll take a look. Okay, so I decided, since my loft has this little nook area, and these puzzles are smaller than the Disney 750-piece ones and 1,000-piece ones that I'm doing, that I would hang them in this little nook here and it worked out perfectly. Lion King is the first to be completed and he hangs at the top in my little nook area. So with the next puzzle I get done, the Thomas Kincaid calendar will have to be relocated. So I gotta find a new spot for that. But I think Lion King turned out beautiful. And Lion King earns its spot at the top of the nook. Well, thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope you have had or are having a beautiful day.